Hi, this is Dr. John Bergdorf. In this video, we're going to take a look at a standard contemporary numeral, which uh, is better known as a Hindu Arabic numeral, which is a numeral represented in base 10, so that place values represent groups of 10. We're going to show how to look at a number like that and emphasize the place value by writing the number in expanded form. So here's an example of a contemporary Hindu Arabic base 10 numeral. We're going to henceforth refer to this simply as a base 10 numeral. And each number with each digit within that number represents a place value. Let's look at the place value first. So we've got the number 45,678. The 8 is the units or the 1's place. The 7 is the 10's place. The 6 is the 100's place. The 5 is the 1000's place. We'll kind of go down here a little bit more. And finally, the 4 is in the 10,000's place. And we can understand that fine, but how do we emphasize that in standard form? Let's clear this up a little bit and start again. So the four being in the ten thousands place, if we start with the four, we could write four times ten thousand. And then talking about the five, being in the thousands place, we could say five times one thousand. And then the six is in the hundreds place, six times one hundred. And then the seven is in the tens place, seven times ten. And finally, the 8 is in the 1's place, and we can just simply say 8, like that, or we could say 8 times 1. This is what we would call expanded form. And that emphasizes the place value of each digit. Expanded exponential form, if you think about how this would maybe be presented in schools, you would talk about expanded form fairly quickly after you introduce the idea of place value, but you would talk about expanded exponential form quite a bit later when you begin looking at exponents and powers. E expanded exponential form uh, emphasizes how each one of these numbers is actually an increasing power of 10. One, you may remember, is 10 to the zero whereas 10 is 10 to the 1, and 100 is 10 squared. And so you can see as you go read from right to left, which is kind of backwards, you'll see that those exponents increase. So if I was going to write this in expanded exponential form, I would think, okay, this is 10 to the 3rd, and finally this is 10 to the 4th. So I would write this as 4 times 10 to the fourth plus five times ten to the third plus six times ten squared plus seven times ten to the one. Yes, you could leave that as ten, but we want to emphasize the exponent. And finally, eight, and here we'd want to especially say that is ten to the zero to emphasize that even that is a power of ten. 